Today's trading session in Europe began with the results of the Bank of Finland's meeting. In our video review on InstaForex TV channel, we will learn about the changes in the market mood and future movements of the Euro-Dollar and Pound-Dollar pairs. During the recent meeting, the Bank of England decided to expand its quantitative easing program to £645 billion pounds from £625 billion. The decision met expectations of market participants and led to an insignificant rise of the British pound. Market's reaction to additional stimulating measures was really positive. Moreover, the central bank hinted that in these difficult times it was ready to expand even more its uh, already huge pound bond buying program. According to estimates provided by the regulator, losses of the banking sector may hit 100 billion pounds. Thus, the British banks uh, will surely need additional funds. At the same time, the Bank of England will hardly change its key interest rate and lower it uh, to a negative level. Such news also encouraged market participants. Yesterday, the pound dollar pair met traders' expectations and hit the forecasted level of 1.2310. Today's fluctuation was triggered by a local searching activity amid the Bank of England's meeting. However, the downward trend still prevails. If the price drops below 1.2350, it may again approach to the level of 1.2310. However, the main positions could be opened uh, when the price consolidates below 1.2300. Scenario may come into force if the price fixes above 1.2420. Despite a decline in the Eurozone construction PMI, the single currency is still trading at the same level. Thus, the indicator declined to 15.1 points from 33.5. Economists had expected a smaller drop to 24. However, under the current conditions, market participants are not uh, surprised by a slump in indexes and uh, practically ignore such data. The euro-dollar pair approached the level of 1.0775 and got stuck between the levels of 1.0775 and 1.0820. It's uh, quite possible that the range limits of 1.0775 and 1.0820 is a short-term phenomenon. If the price consolidates below 1.0770, the pair may resume the downward movement to the area of 1.0700. Buy positions can be opened if the price consolidates above 1.0825 with a target at 1.0850. At the moment, market participants are waiting for the US unemployment claims data that will once again prove poor condition of the global economy. The number of the first-time claims could reduce for the fifth week in a row. Economists forecast the total number of 3 million claims. Nevertheless, the amount of the first-time claims exceeds the usual number of 200,000 by more than 15 times. In other words, people in the United States are not just losing their jobs, but they cannot find a new. Thus, the number of continuous claims to expect it to advance to almost 20 and half million. The US unemployment is likely to be extremely prolonged. Moreover, the economic growth is uh, practically impossible without stable labor market situation. At the same time, the US dollar is gaining ground to meet such weak figures. The fact is that the US publishes its reports faster than other countries, where the situation is practically the same or even worse. Thus, investors may only predict how grave the problems are in other countries. Besides, there is no doubt uh, that uh, almost all economies are in the same conditions. Moreover, most analysts suppose that the US economy will be the first to spread its wings. That's all for now. We wish a profitable deal to so see you on our channel in a couple of hours.